like, I'm dating this girl. And that was it. My coming out story is not really that long. I was struggling a lot internally. I was always having these questions about identity, um, being mixed race, you know, Long Island, but then growing up Asian, all these dynamics. And then on top of that, I was gay. And I didn't know how to really express myself. And I knew deep down that my parents were really fine. You know, they were really open and caring and loving. So I wasn't afraid of that, per se. There is a fear in confronting my Asian family members. I think I was really scared of losing family. I think I was afraid of, like, people just, like, walking away. But mom was really helpful because you helped me navigate that. And I think, I mean, that's a really unique characteristic of, of you. Yeah, it was because uh, when I was growing up, my parents told me that it, 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 is, it was okay to be gay. And uh, so I did have no doubt that my mother would, would you know, accept my daughter. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's like a unconditional love. That's it. I mean, uh, you accept someone without any, you know, looking for any return. You just love. That's that's it. And the, you know, being in love, the being loving somebody itself is so valuable. So when you have to choose either a child or your culture or religion, what is more valuable to you? I would, you know, choose my daughter anytime over like culture or religion. I can change the culture or religion. I can switch my religion if I need to. But I can't change my daughter. I can't disown my daughter. Love and happiness come in many shapes and forms. My son found his happiness by being who he is, and I found mine for being a good mother for my son with unconditional love. Find a new definition of happiness and love for you and for others to create a loving family and strong community.